All right, guys, it's Shane Head here for Pop RVs coming to you from Dallas, Texas. We got a really, really cool find for you today. We've got before you a 2021. This is the Ozark 2500TH by Forest River. This is a travel trailer toy hauler. No slide outs, great footprint, easy to tow, dry weight of right around 5,000 pounds. Um, lots of goodies, very nice for a small family. If you want to haul your toys or you just need extra sleeping room, a lot of options. We're going to go over this thing with you. This listing, just like all our listings, if you have questions, call the number below you see on your video, or you can reach out to me directly, Shane Head, at 903-293-3851. If you'd like to make an offer, set up a showing, you got questions about finance, anything specific you need to know, more than happy to help you. So let's get into it. Again, it is a 2021 Ozark 2500TH toy hauler travel trailer from Forest River. This is just under 29 foot. It's 28 foot and some change. Uh, got your single overhead uh, AC unit. You do have your power awning uh, out here with the LEDs. Uh, overall, the camper's in really good shape. I would say the only thing that it needs is a little wash down. It's a little dusty here today. We've had a little rain here over the past few days in DFW, but other than that, everything looks really, really good on it. Uh, just a little bit of normal wear and tear, I would say. Ready for your adventure, camping, hauling your toys. So a couple things we'll show you that I like about this model is it has the solid step entry system. And the reason I mention that, that's a much, just as the name would suggest, that's a much sturdier platform for entering and exiting the, the camper. Uh, when you travel, it folds up into the doorway and locks in place so it doesn't slide underneath like traditional campers do. Much sturdier, uh, much more stable platform for you. Uh, you do have external uh, audio speakers backlit with LED for a nice mood at night under the awning. So you can see under there, I've got those LEDs under the awning on right now. So really nice ambiance when you're at the campground or tailgating or whatever you may be doing, controlled by the stereo system inside. Uh, you do have four point manual leveling jacks. As you can see, it is leveled up right now. Uh, exterior, again, looks really good. There's no sun fading, no cracking or peeling anywhere. There is a slight scuff mark right here. Nothing major. Some of that will probably rub away just with my fingernail. That paint's coming off. Somebody probably rubbed up against it. It is uh, pre-wired for solar, so you've got your inlet for your 10-amp solar charge there, which can run your run your run and charge your, your house battery. Of course, you've got your standard 20 pound propane bottles up front. You've got your power tongue jack, which is really nice to have. Diamond plate, bottom side of the front cap to protect from rock chips and things of that nature. And as we move on over here to the business side of the camper, of course, where all of your city water connections, your 30 amp service, everything like that comes in. Go ahead and give you a shot of that pass-through storage. You do have a nice large pass-through storage here on the front, accessible from either side. Got a few things in it, but it gives you an idea of the depth and width. Lots of capacity there for a camper of this size. Another thing I like about this, you don't often find in a budget-friendly model is it does have the black, black tank flush system. That is an option on a lot of campers. This one has it. Of course, your sewer and gray water outlets fresh water connection, city water connection. It does have the spray port on it as well. There's your 30 amp service as we mentioned coming in. And here at the rear of the camper, of course, you can see you have access to your ramp door, which was what makes it a toy hauler. The ramp door is you'll refer to the ad for all the specs and more pictures. It's, it's, a two, it's a two step system. You can have it leveled out for a porch or you can let it all the way down for a ramp. Um, 3,000 pound capacity when it's lowered, 1,500 pound capacity when it's in the porch position. Once you've got the diamond plate up top around your lights, you do have a mounting point if you wanted to put a backup camera here. Uh, there is wiring there for that from the factory. Most people go with a Bluetooth model for that, but you can certainly go with a standard unit. So guys, again, if you've got questions about this model, you can call the number below on the screen. We'll be glad to set up a showing for you. If you've got questions about financing and need lender assistance, we've got RV lenders on standby that can help you. So let's go ahead and transition to the interior. 
And as you come in, of course, you've got that swing away entry assist handle. There's that mounting system I was talking about on that solid step where it swings up and locks in place inside the doorway for easy access. As you come into the camper, you've got your bathroom directly across from the entry door. We'll hit that in a minute. Your living room and toy hauler area is extremely versatile. You've got tie down points all the way up here into the very front of the camper. So you've got a lot of length in the garage if you need it, or if you need a living area, you've got the best of both worlds. You've got a stainless steel Norco dual system refrigerator freezer. You've got the Furion three burner cooktop with an oven and a Furion microwave and range hood. You got a nice deep farmhouse style sink with a brushed nickel residential style kitchen faucet. As we look into the rear of the toy hauler area, of course you've got that back curtain back there when you have everything open. You've got a breakdown dinette table here which it's in the broke down position. And when you put the cushions out, this actually converts into a king size bed. They are gonna include, if you want this extra cushion for the bed, uh, kind of a memory foam type deal. That'll uh, certainly go with it. Manual window shades on the rear. You got a skylight here in the back, which gives you lots of natural lighting. Another thing I like about this unit that you don't often find in units this size is it is a centrally ducted heating and cooling system. So you've got your heating and cooling vents in the in the in the roof, just like you would in your home, and you've also got a manual dump option right here on the unit itself. So really good setup. As you look forward, you've got your flat screen TV, your Furion Entertainment System, Bluetooth capable with HDMI inputs, USB. You've got your control center for your tank monitors, your water heater, water pumps, awning controls, additional storage down below. As we head towards the bedroom, we'll go ahead and hit the restroom. It's a really large restroom for a camper of this size. You've got a corner mounted chair height head. Of course, your bathroom sink with medicine cabinet. You've got a nice size shower here. It's got a pretty wide berth for getting in. I always mention that because I'm a big guy, so I notice these kinds of things but you've got this travel latch to keep these doors from swinging open on you. When you're traveling, it's got a simulated tile enclosure, detachable shower head, recessed skylight to give you a little extra height when you need it. Current company not included in that need as well. And as we move out of the restroom, we'll hit the master bedroom here at the front of the camper. And first thing you're gonna notice is the seller has upgraded the standard RV queen mattress with a pillow top residential style premium mattress. So a lot more comfortable uh, bedding in here. If you wanted to put a king size bed in here to take up some extra room, you could certainly do that. Looking across the way, you've got your shirt closets on both sides of the bed, overhead storage. Both sides of the bed, let me zoom in for you, has 110 outlets and USB charging ports, both on his and her side. Up on the wall, you have your pre-wiring for your coax output. So if you wanted to mount a TV on the wall, you've got a power outlet and a place for your satellite or whatever type of antenna system you're gonna use is available to you there. Looking at the floor, you've got a kind of a barnwood style vinyl plank floor. Very nice, very durable. And another nice feature that we missed in the living room that I wanna share with you that really, really makes this thing versatile is you've got this <clears throat> swing down with a step up below it. This is a can be a dinette table workspace it's on a locking hinge assembly you simply pull it up and she locks in place and when you get ready to release it you just got a bottom underneath you drop it down so when you need extra width for storing everything you just pop the two buttons on it and down she goes and you've got that extra space for your toys so really the best of both worlds lots of storage lots of versatility in terms of being able to handle your toys when the toys are out of here, you've got great livability. You've got all the amenities you need in an RV. So there it is, guys, the 2021 Ozark 2500 TH Travel Trailer Toy Hauler available here at Pop RVs. You can go to poprvs.com for more pictures and information. You can call the number on the screen below to ask questions, make offers, set up appointments to come see it. So Shane Head for Pop RV is saying thanks for watching.